be expectant. Lord, I believe I receive my miracle tonight. Remember, we are celebrating. And God wants to give you more reasons to celebrate. More miracles, more signs and wonders in your life, in your family to celebrate with. More testimonies for you. Tonight, you will receive whatsoever the miracle, whatsoever the blessing you desire from the Lord, prepare. Counselors, let's be fast about it. In the, filling the form, collect by the form, so we can get into the miracle time as the man of God comes again to pray for us. If you are true in your section, please indicate. Counsel us. Let's be fast. Let's attend to all who indicated giving their life to Christ. If you have not been attended to, please indicate, call the attention of the counselors around you so you can be given a slip to feel, feel it, and submit the slip to the counselor around you. Hall one, are we true? Hall two, hall two, three, four, five, are we true? Okay, let's do that quickly. All of us, let's continue to pray. Stay in the mood of prayer. Whether physically present or you are connected online, please pray. And expect miracles. Pray and expect blessing. God has been using his servant over the years as he prays as he ministers, even tonight, God will use him to minister unto your knees. Your mountains will be rolled away. The power of God will touch you. The anointing of God will break the yoke of every evil thing in your life and your family. Be expectant. Get ready. Get ready. Just keep on praying as you are preparing. Keep on praying. Tell the Lord exactly what you want him to do for you tonight. Tell the Lord what you want the mighty power of God to accomplish in your life. The miracle, the sign, the wonder. Tonight, you will testify. You will testify. This is the night of celebration. This is the night of testimony. It's the night of miracle. The power of God will touch you. You will never be the same again. The mighty God of heaven is here with his mighty power to do great, great, wonderful things in the life of everyone. You will not be left out. You will not be left out. Counselors, are we true? All one. Or two, three, four, right, five, six. Now is miracle time. Miracle time. Miracle time. Everybody say miracle time. Yes. Let's rise up as the man of God will be in use of God again for us tonight. Great, great miracle. Are you ready? You are ready? Let me hear your amen. amen. Miracle for you. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. Conversion and cure. Conversion has taken place now. The next thing is your cure. Your healing. Your deliverance. Your miracle. Stand up wherever you are. If you cannot stand up now, after the final amen, the power of God will touch you. you rise up in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, it's done every kind of miracle.
for everyone and yours will not be an exception. Whatever problem you have, swelling in the tummy, in the neck, elephantiasis, cancer, ulcer, blindness, paralysis, whatever, the Lord will touch you right now. Everywhere on this field, everywhere over the radio, television, and those online, the power of God is going to be released on you now. If you're in the hospital and you are connected, the Lord will touch you now. Raise up one hand and lead the other hand where you have the challenge. After the final amen, you'll see the miracle there. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we know you cannot fail. You said the name given to Christ is the name above every name. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in Jesus' name. And we pray that every incurable disease and every oppression, every attack, every affliction, will bow at the mention of the name of Jesus tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, begin your work on everyone. Miracle for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Confirm it in Jesus' name. That madness, that insanity, Brain problem, be healed in Jesus' name. Goiter, hernia, fibroid, elephantiasis, any swelling in the body. Lord, I pray miraculously, touch them now, deliver them, heal them in Jesus' name. Internal disease, HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, cancer, ulcer, kidney problem, liver problem, bleeding, touch everyone right now. Miracle of healing, miracle of deliverance. For everyone in Jesus' name. Incurable, long standing sickness. Lord, with man, this is impossible. But with you, all things are possible. Reach out to them right now. Touch them right now. Raise them up right now. Lord, that incurable disease be healed in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, even if they were born that way, or they came to that later in life, I pray the Lord will open your deaf ears. Loose your dumb tongues. Miraculously begin to hear. Miraculously begin to speak in Jesus' name. Lord, those who are blind, whatever the reason for that blindness, I pray, Lord, you touch their blind eyes. Blind eyes, I command you, be opened and begin to see in Jesus' name. Clear their eyesight make them see clearly Lord I pray that those who are lying down helplessly or they are on crutches or they are on wheelchair Lord I pray that your mighty power will recreate them right now and the power the strength the ability to stand up and walk effect it in their lives right now 
Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Everyone now, everywhere, whatever the name of the sickness, whatever the name of the problem, receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Lord, manifest it now. It shall come to pass. Let it come to pass. To the right, to the left, at the back, in front, in the middle. Lord, let it come to pass. Over the radio, television, online, everywhere, every nation, every congregation, miracle, manifestation, performance, let it come to pass. As we open our eyes, we we'll open our eyes to miracles, God, Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name, we pray. It is done. It is done. Check up yourself. The miracle is already there. Peter has done it. He has done it. He has done it. Before you sit down, check up. Check up. What you couldn't do before, begin to do. Move your hand. Move your leg. Move your neck. Bend. Arise. And if you were blind, open your eyes. The program is not over. We are going to celebrate together again. We are having the orchestra coming back here. And then we will celebrate the testimony. Listen to the testimonies of what God has done for our brethren. Remember, it's celebration time. And it's not yet over. The program has not ended. Wherever we are connected, get prepared to celebrate with us, to jubilate, to rejoice. The emancipator, the liberator has done it. The mighty power of God has touched you. As you see the miracle, please come out to your to our left hand side there in front of our six and meet our leaders there. We want to give you the opportunity of sharing your testimony to give glory to God and to encourage the faith of others. Yes, let's have all the testifiers. Come out, come out quickly. Check up. God has done it. Remember, after the freedom from sin, then you have the kill. You have the kill from the great liberator, from the emancipator. For all run, all run the emancipation through the great savior, our liberator. He has brought it as you connected by faith. All run the emancipation through the faith that to demonstrate in Christ and through the ministration of the man of God. Miracle for you. Don't go yet. We want to worship God. While we are getting ready to listen to the testimony of all that have received miracles, we want to worship God together. Yes. Orchestra, let's worship the Lord together. Everybody will join as we have the orchestra ministry. Come out quickly. If you want you have testimony, God has done something, please come out quickly. Miracle. Good for you. Come and testify.
As we are listening to testimony, we we'll keep on celebrating. Celebration. Let's have the first testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Mary Ann Avede. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I'm from Buari region, Kuduru, uh, Overcoma uh, District. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life and that of my family. 11 years, my first uh, daughter, since I gave birth to her, since then it has been from one issue to another. We went to the hospital, the doctors confirmed that I have to go for surgery to clean all my them that they, I'm having jams. From Buari General Hospital, we went to could uh, uh, they refer me to my tama? From my tama, they, run, they say we should go to Guagualada. So we just keep on believing that without uh, the doctor's uh, reports, God will do something. So we just end there. Since they say we should go to uh, uh, Guagualada, we end up there. That we will not further anymore. When this global crusade started, it started in Kado uh, here. I think after Easter retreat in 2021, the first uh, uh, edition. So that very Saturday, I think it, we were, they shared it that Buari region will come on Saturday. That day I went to work. On my way coming back, I met a sister who said that the boss has gone. I said, ah, and I want to go to this program. In fact, to cut the story short, when we were, I prepared myself, I said, I will go. My daughter said, she was even crying that, we should go, that God has something for us. Reaching Buari, I came to the central church. There is no vehicle that will enter. And I was holding 514 era. I said, how will I enter from Buari to this place? Coming back will not be the problem. So we entered. Reaching Duse, a brother called me that GS is already in point two. I said, ah, anyhow, we'll reach, even if it's closing. When we reach, five minutes to reach uh, uh, the gate here, Jesus has round up the message. I was at the back there praying. I was not even, I did not enter the church. I was standing all through. Immediately. The prayer, I feel something that, yes, I'm relieved of so many things. I was very happy that day. The following day, being Tuesday, the following week, I dreamed a dream that I saw GS sitting down on the seat of a chair, a royal chair. I was standing one side. He was seriously praying for my family, praying for me, prophesying to my family. There is a beast that come out from the wall, trying to hold my neck. The smile of GS drove that beast away, and that is all. After that the dream, I wake up with prayer. While I was busy praying, I wake up with prayer. Jesus is smiling at that beast, and that is all. So three weeks after the dream, after the dream, I was seriously sick. I'm suffering for low BP. I was treating, while I was treating low BP, God is already packaging these twins in my tummy. I did not know when I went to the hospital. I was treating low BP. I don't know until I said no. This thing is affecting me, my sister. I don't know what is wrong. So until when they did scan, they confirmed that, Madam, you are carrying a twin. This is the this is the blessing that God has packaged for my family. And I say, may His name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Double blessing. Double blessing. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified. Whatever may be the challenge in your life, believe God did it. This is the best way to celebrate, you know. The, the Lord did it the very first GCK even here. And now we are celebrating and she is coming with testimony. You will have your own testimony also in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let's listen to the next testifier. Get ready. Miracle for you too. Praise the Lord. Brethren, we are here to celebrate the goodness of God. My name is Brother Ugo Jaffet, and here is my wife, Sister Ulua Shade Ugo. We want to thank God for the miracle that God has done for us, this baby we are having here. 
We got married in the year 2019, and we believe hope upon God to visit us with a child. And there appeared to be a delay. And they gave us concern that we started visiting hospital to find out why the delay uh, was. So in the hospital, we referred to see gynecologist which confirmed that my wife, had, my wife had an ovarian cyst. And on my part, they said I had a low sperm count that would make it difficult for us to have a child. So the thing gave us concern. We started visiting hospital, giving some drugs. We were taking, but there was no solution. We now resolved in trusting God that God will do, uh, we can do all things, we do it for us. And then we kept believing God until 2019, at September, when GS came to Abuja at Papa's ground for the program, the Global Crusade, third divine solution for all. And here we went there, and on Sunday of that program, while GS was ministering on Sunday, in most Sunday message, he started a message, he started from the scripture in the book of Genesis chapter 18, verse 10. And he said that you are here, young man, you are here, couple, that you are believing God, for, you are being married, and you are waiting for God for a child. And he said, according to the time of life, your wife Sarah shall conceive, and shall be, have a son. And then we believe God, look at my wife, then we believe that God has really visited us. And that was the conversation, we came back home, and God began the work. Yes, after that program that day, we knew that the Lord was talking to us. And we began to praise the Lord, appreciating him for that he has remembered us. So the following day, the programs continue, but I couldn't make it to the Papa's Grand due to my work. So I followed all the program online. So Papa, after the message, says we should lay our end where we have the challenge. So I laid my end where I have the challenge, and getting home, I feel like using the restroom. And when I used the restroom, what came out of me was a live snake. Then I said, ah, God, this is a confirmation that, yes, you've started the work. After then, a few weeks later, I began to feel some signs, began to feel some symptoms in me. We went back to the hospital. The message came 27th of September, 2021. 26th of October, that is the following month, it was confirmed that God had answered our prayer, and the test result came out positive. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. So God, we turned out that God visited us and my wife was so okay until the time of delivery. When my wife started having a kind of labor, it became so serious. It started on Monday and the devil came with serious attack to take away the baby. The, 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 the labor came with so much pain. We went to the hospital. They said they, that they had to conduct a CS on my wife, which we yielded. So when we on that Friday night, the CS commenced around 7.37. Seven, around seven so if it, it was true by 4, 7.48. So 8.48. When the baby came out, the doctor told us that the baby came out. In fact, there was no hope of life in the baby. And we called call my pastors. We were praying. And all our brethren, they were praying in the hospital. So why the, why the, the doctor now wrote a letter that we should go to either teach, uh, teaching hospital, Guagola specialist hospital, or national hospital. So... The baby was between life and death. We moved during that time, about seven hospitals. They said they couldn't attend the baby, but finally went to Gogolada. After God ministered to me that I should go there, and when we got there, the doctor accepted the baby, took the baby to the, to the, to the uh, baby ward, and five minutes after, I heard the baby cry for the first time. After that, I would thank God that this is the baby Isaac that God gave to us, that the devil came to take away, but God intervened. And I believe God in Jesus' name. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Celebration. Celebration. Barrenness removed. Sickness removed. Death removed. The Lord perfected the miracle and get ready. Miracle for you. And God will perfect the miracle for your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Next testifier. Online. Online. Praise the living Jesus. I want to testify to the goodness of God for what God I was I saw my menstruation and during my menstruation and I had a dream and in that my dream I saw a giant man he came he assaulted me with sexually he assaulted me sexually. So, and as the, as that that dream ha happened that night, 
as I woke up, I was now bleeding. It was menstruation before, it turned to bleeding. I was, the sanitary pad that I was using, I have to hide dead, look for a big one to use. And since then, I've been bleeding since that September last year till December last year. And around November, a sister came to me, invited me that I should come to Crusade at a deeper life, that they are doing Crusade that I should come, that God will answer my prayer. I said, okay. But later I said I will not go that deeper life that they will be watching it on television. I will not see the pastor face to face. I said I won't go. So I, another day again, another sister came to me. She invited me. She said, sister, come over. Oh, I said, ah, two times. I said, okay, let me try. And on that very day was on Thursday. And I was like, I will know. I, I, I forgot. I forgot that day. And that sister called me again on that Thursday during the crusade. She said, sister, please come. Oh, they've started. I said, okay, I will try and manage and come. So as I now went to the crusade, and that day was, Pastor Kumi was praying for us, and I said, I am, um, that day before I went, that November time, I had a dream. In that dream, I had another dream again that I was buried in that dream. I was buried, covered up. And in my mouth. I was like, ah, hey, I used to watch this at television, but this thing. Well, I didn't go to hospital to doing the problem because it's a spiritual battle. I was like, if I go to hospital, they won't say anything that wrong with me. But I know that I was not feeling fine. And the sun was so much in my eyes, I thought I'm going to blind. And that told me that I went to the crusade. Person, I was not praying that open your eyes and receive your mirror. Say, if you are blind, you will see. And me, I touch my eye. I want. I don't want that sand in my eyes again. I have to touch my eye that even the bleeding. I know that everybody will die one day. I, I've already accepted. But this sand in my eyes, I said I don't want to be blind. I was so worried. So when they say we should touch where we have problem, I have to touch my eyes. I said, God, heal me. And pastor now said, open your eyes and see your miracle. And I opened my eyes. I saw pastor face to face. And in, so, and the sun, the sun disappeared from my eyes. That very day, it disappeared. So as I was go, as I, as they finished, I don't, I don't just know what happened. And I felt strength in me because I don't even have any strength because I'm bleeding. So as I now reached home the following week, and I saw something like stone came out of me. And as the thing that came out, I just heard the noise. Boom. I said, what is this? I have to take it and hold it. And I saw the, big, the stone. I said, ha. Ah. And as I saw the stone, the menstruation to stop. I want to thank God for God to heal me, to deliver me from this bleeding and this sound in my eyes and my mouth. I want to say thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Alpha location, let's have the next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. I want to testify to the glory of the Lord in my life since the GCK started. My name is Sister Fagbe Mechari Titilayo from a UN District in Guse Group. I want to bless the name of the Lord for his healing power in my life. I had a challenge with my knee, thinking that it was the long distance driving I was doing since 2002. And because of that, 
the car I was using was changed from manual to automatic, yet the problem was not solved. I was referred from our medical center to uh, my Tama General Hospital because I have other issues that has to do with throat irritation, and uh, so I was referred to the ENT. At the same time, I was to do X-ray of the leg and of my knee. So I visited my Tama, the ENT. They said uh, I was the throat irritation was due to uh, I had acute asthma that I was asthmatic, but I didn't want to accept it and that I have to live with it. And uh, I just believe that where the help of man stops, that's where God's help began. I, I was trusting the Lord. So when the GC case started, after going for the, I couldn't go for the knee x-ray because of the COVID uh, of 2019. So after the COVID, I went for the knee x-ray. They said I have degenerative um, I, I, I osteoarthritis of the knee and the hip. So I believe God, when the GCK started, as pastor, our father in the Lord prays, I believe God, he prays at, and believe that I was coming, always coming for immunization and that I, I, I will get my healing because when pastor prays, he will say from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet and I key in into it and I bless the name of the Lord because God touched me and the, I, the knee, I have to be wearing knee support. I have to be wearing um, pressure socks because of the pain. But now, I am not wearing the pressure socks. I can bend. I can straighten my leg, fold my leg, the left leg, and I no more have pain that wakes me up in the night. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Get ready. We are celebrating, celebrating. We have one more testimony. Then we have the orchestra. Yes, quickly. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Oluwaloni Solomon. I'm from Jai One District, uh, Jai Group of Districts. I want to bless the name of the Lord for his faithfulness in my life. Uh, early 2000, 2021, I had issues with my leg. The leg just started bringing pulse and then um, became swollen. So initially, I didn't uh, take cognizance. I didn't. I just ignored it. But later, I was told to take it to the pharmacy. I went to pharmacy. The man dressed it and said I should keep coming for dressing. After some time, when the pain continues, I have to go to the hospital. When I got to the hospital, they did blood culture, did different types of tests. I went back for the result after seven days. The doctor looked at me and said, Madam, there's nothing wrong with you. But he referred me to National Hospital. So I went there. When I got to National Hospital, they did x-ray. The man, the doctor looked at me and said, there's nothing wrong with you. So after this, I know that the next thing is to turn totally to God. So in February, supernatural liberation, the pastor was ministering and he said he want to pray for the sick that we should lay her hand on wherever it pains or uh, we had challenge. I could not touch my leg, so I have to sit down on the floor and put my hand on the leg. And the pastor prayed. So I went and I even forgot about it until after some days, I look at the leg, I discover it was no more bringing pulse. And that the, the blackness on the leg that shows like hot water on it begin to disappear. I praise the name of the Lord for this and I know that the Lord that has done this for me will do more for everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord that has done it for her will do it for you. Healing, deliverance, celebration. Let's have the song to celebrate. Celebrate the miracle. Let's join as the orchestra minister. We sing together.
Amen. Our God is good. And His goodness we continue to manifest in our lives. We continue to testify, to celebrate, to rejoice. Our joy will know no end in Jesus' name. Next testifier. Make Praise the praise. Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. My name is Sister Jenna Joseph. I'm from Favor District, Kubwa region. I want to testify of the goodness of the Lord in my life. Since when I was a youth, I have this problem with itches of bodies, especially when they are bit. During the it's very severe. I've been battling with it. Then I went to visit a, dam a dermatologist, and they said it was urticaria. I even said I should go and research about it. That it doesn't have any permanent cure. I just need to manage it. But within my say, God, at this my tender age, how will I be battling with an ailment that doesn't have cure? But I keep on coming for the GCK program, and I believe God. Every time the pastor said we should lay our hand on ourselves, I don't even know the parts of the body to lay my hands on. But I keep on mentioning that name. I say, God, they said I have urticaria, and it doesn't have any cure. It was a serious challenge. A challenge during any season, I don't even use, to the extent I cannot bathe with sponge. I don't even use thick towel. If you see my towel, very small. It became a challenge. Even if I must take my bed, I can't bathe cold water. The water must be very hot. They're doing one of the GCK crusade. A sister from United Arab Emirates, she testified of the healing of that body. And I kid into that testimony. I said, God, if our father the Lord will minister in Nigeria here, and someone from United Arab Emirates will receive testimony. Father, Lord, this is my case also. I've come with faith. And the Lord healed me. I waited throughout last year to, so that I can test myself. I discovered that everything vanished. Today, I can bathe a very cold water. I can use sponge. I can, you should, my water don't need to be hot. To the glory of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You hear the word vanish. You hear the word disappear. Any sickness, any disease, any infirmity in your body, what will happen? Whichever one you use. Vanish or disappear. Tonight, tonight, you will not go back home with any of your sickness or disease. You either vanish or amen. One more testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Henry Anazia. I'm from... Uh, municipal UN district, who say group, uh, Abuja region. My testimony goes like this. Last year, uh, I had, uh, that is around February, suddenly the pain, I had se severe pain from the West region. I didn't know, I couldn't move the leg. Once I see that, to get up, it will be, uh, became a problem. And so, I will, if, I, if I sleep, when I wake up to move, I will have to wait for not less than 30 minutes before I will move. And the movement was not fast. I will have to hold one chair to the other. And gradually, I will be moving like that. I consulted medical personnel. They said, they call it sciatica. They say that the colon at the back region, the lower region, shifted and is touching the nerves. So it, it was a very serious issue. But God did it that during Baesa crusade, Friday night of it, I woke up, got up, and it was all over. That was one of, one miracle. Again, after December retreat, I woke up, suddenly, I went to ease myself. I told I lost feeling on this hand. I, to pick up, the cup fell from my hand. I said, what? What's happening? To pick something, the hand was this. The next was that the hand was like this. I said, God, what is happening? So I couldn't pick anything. I couldn't pick any object. I could nothing. Even to carry my phone, I could not use my left fingers. I was praying to God. I went to consult physician. They called it all sorts of names. They took my BP. They said I should run some tests. Then during January, uh, GCK, and February, I will use my right hand to support my left hand. They said, raise it up. I will be doing it like this. Today, see my Praise the Lord. Yeah. The hand is free. I am healed. I can pick any object I want. Nothing again. The feelings came back. To God be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
double miracle, double blessing, double healing. And for you, for you, double miracle, double blessing. Let's all rise up to celebrate together. And uh, we join orchestra to celebrate the goodness of the Lord, the miracle of God, the blessing of God. It's celebration time. It's never going to end. We have just started. We are continuing. We will continue and continue. Yes, join the orchestra. celebrating. Lift up your voice, lift up your hands, and worship the Lord. Wave your hands in appreciation, and say, Lord, I thank you. You have done it for me. What my father, my mother, my uncle, my auntie, my in-laws cannot do, what physician cannot do, what medications are failed to do, Jehovah, the great healer, the great deliverer, the emancipator, our liberator, has done for us. Let's worship the Lord. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. And he will do more. He will do more. He will do more for us. Give him glory. Give him praise. Our God is good. He's always doing good. And his goodness and mercy will continue to follow us. Lift up your voice and worship the Lord. All of us here, all who are connected in all locations and online, let's join together and celebrate. Worship the Lord. Give God the glory and praise for wonderful things, marvelous things he has done. He will do more for us as we worship him and praise him, appreciate him. Give him glory, give him praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen. Almighty God, we thank you. We praise your wonderful name for the great things you've done. We thank you for all the people you have liberated and set free from the captivity of sin and Satan. Thank you for all the people you have healed and delivered. Thank you, Father, for where medications and human science failed. You demonstrated your power and prevailed. We give you glory. We give you praise, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you all the honor and adoration for giving us the cause to celebrate. We pray you help us to keep on celebrating. And our joy will know no end in Jesus' name. We thank you for your servant, our Father in the Lord, the convener of GZK you have been using to minister unto us, to preach the word of life that brings all these testimonies and miracles and blessings. We pray you renew him and use him more and more, more and more, and more and more in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that our joy will be full and your name will be glorified. As we continue tomorrow, continue with us. All through to the end of the program on Tuesday, continue with us. Bless us more and more. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Celebration Global, amen. Let's continue to celebrate. Remember, tomorrow we continue in the program. Come early, 5 o'clock. Tell others, invite them, send them text, and uh, use your uh, social media handle, invite them, 
and let them come and partake of this wonderful celebration. And all who are connecting online, be there again, 5 p.m. Nigerian time, whatever time that is, uh, whatever time that may be in your own country, please connect and get the blessing. And the blessing of God will multiply and multiply more and more for us all in Jesus' name. God bless you. The world is in chaos and darkness. And in need of a touch from the liberator. And from this darkness shines the Jesus. A touch from the liberator and from this darkness shines the gck light filled with the liberator signet of detailed graphical wonders the world can fathom jesus the liberator has set men free from the bondage and shackles of sin death demonic operations and has elevated men raised stars and professionals that are ready to shape their world Join us as we celebrate two years of God's liberation and illumination. He does wonders, wonders in the heart, wonders in your soul, wonders in your spirit, wonders in your family, and wonders in your community. Yes, over the years we've experienced God's unwavering mercy, love, favor, and unmerited favor towards the GCK tree with a heart filled with gratitude let's stand as we praise jesus our great lord join us from the 25th to 30th of may 2023 at 1600 hours gmt daily and 700 hours gmt on sunday come and celebrate your liberation The world is in chaos and darkness. And in need of a touch from the liberator. And from this darkness shines the GCK light filled with the liberator signet of detailed graphical wonders the world can fathom. Jesus the liberator has set men free from the bondage and shackles of sin, death, demonic operations and has elevated men raised stars and professionals that are ready to shape their world join us as we celebrate two years of god's liberation and illumination he does wonders wonders in the heart wonders in your soul wonders in your spirit wonders in your family and wonders in your community yes over the years, we've experienced God's unwavering mercy, love, favor, and unmerited favor towards the GCK tree. With a heart filled with gratitude, let's stand as we praise Jesus, our great Lord. Join us from the 25th to 30th of May, 2023 at 1600 hours GMT daily and 700 hours GMT on Sunday. Come and celebrate your liberation. The world is in chaos and darkness. And in need of a touch from the liberator. And from this darkness shines the GCK light filled with the liberator signet of detailed graphical wonders the world can fathom. Jesus the liberator has set men free from the bondage and shackles.